Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Please welcome Kanye West. Kanye West. When you hear the name Kanye West, what comes to mind? One of the greatest of all time. Greatest producer to ever live. Do you think of a madman? I just told you who I thought I was. A guy. That's who I think I am. Or a genius. I ain't saying she a gold digger. Kanye West is a complex and misunderstood individual who has left an indelible mark on the worlds of music, the man is a genius, fashion, religion, politics, and beyond. Despite being labeled as a controversial and erratic by the media, his journey is one of defiance, creativity, and unwavering faith in his own vision. So who really is Ye? Take my position as a musician, as a as a rapper. Is he the visionary he claims to be? The Grammy goes to the college dropout Kanye West. Or is he just a guy upon whom luck decided to shower billions of dollars and the gift of being one of the most Grammy awarded musicians of all time? No, I actually slept a lot during the project. <laughs> Let's delve into the multifaceted world of Kanye, now Ye West, and uncover the man behind the headlines. West's harrowing escape from the jaws of death following a catastrophic car accident didn't just signal a miraculous survival. Instead of feeling defeated, it ignited a fierce, undying flame within him to chase after his musical dreams with an intensity few could match. Let us put this into perspective. With his jaw broken in several places, the rapper required reconstructive surgery, and his mouth was wired shut for a month and a half. He recorded through the wire using an immobile mouth, releasing the single the following year and turning it into a huge hit. This pivotal moment set the stage for his ascent to global stardom as an unstoppable force in the music world. From then on, each beat he produced and every lyric he penned carried the weight of this life-altering experience, pushing him forward with a relentless drive. It was as if the brush with death peeled back layers of convention, revealing West's raw, unfiltered genius, ready to challenge the status quo. His recovery, marked by a profound sense of purpose and creative explosion, became the bedrock upon which he built an empire of artistic innovation and boundary-shattering music. This wasn't just a comeback, it was a declaration that Kanye West would not only survive, but thrive with a story as compelling as his art. In a moment that would forever etch his name into the annals of outspoken advocates, West declared during the live Hurricane Katrina telethon, George Bush doesn't care about black people. A moment of dissent, a profound expression of raw, unfiltered truth. Standing before millions, West transcended the status of mere celebrity, becoming the voice for the voiceless, the champion of the oppressed. This act of defiance against President Bush's handling of the disaster was a powerful testament to West's unwillingness to remain silent in the face of injustice. It was an audacious act that challenged the complacency of a nation, urging a collective awakening to the realities of racial and social inequities that had been laid bare by the catastrophe. Fraught with tension and brimming with courage, the moment and the man solidified West's identity as an artist unafraid to leverage his platform for a cause greater than entertainment. His words, piercing the veneer of political correctness, sparked a necessary conversation on race, privilege, and government responsibility. In the aftermath, West stood not diminished, but magnified, a figure symbolic of the power of speaking truth to authority igniting debates that would ripple through the fabric of society. That was not an impulsive outburst, but a deliberate stand, marking him as an indomitable force in the quest for justice and equity. On November 10, 2007, the earth stood still for Kanye West. The untimely demise of his mother at age 58 due to complications from cosmetic surgery pierced the very core of his being. Donda's passing reshaped him and his creative expression in profound ways. Her absence became a chasm of grief and reflection, propelling Ye into a journey of deep introspection and artistic exploration. Through the darkness of loss, he channeled his sorrow into a force of creativity, allowing his mother's spirit to guide him as he traversed new artistic landscapes. The results? 
808s and Heartbreak and Donda, two albums released in 2008 and 2021 respectively. 808s and Heartbreak turned platinum the following year, and its single Amazing became a Grammy nominee. Meanwhile, Donda won Top Christian Album and Top Gospel Album at the Billboard Music Awards and was nominated for Best Rap Album and Album of the Year at the Grammys. Far from being an unforgivable trespass, West's interruption of Taylor Swift's Grammy acceptance speech peeled back layers on the complexities of celebrity, authenticity, and the audacious pursuit of what one perceives as truth. So what exactly happened? Taylor Swift had just won the award for Best Female Video for her song You Belong With Me. As she took the stage to accept her trophy, West stormed the stage, grabbed the microphone, and declared that Beyonce's Single Ladies Put A Ring On It was one of the best videos of all time. The incident sparked outrage and condemnation, with many criticizing West for his behavior and questioning his character. In the aftermath, West faced widespread backlash and criticism, with some even going so far as to label him a villain. His actions were roundly condemned as misogynistic and disrespectful, and many wondered whether he would ever be able to recover from such a public relations disaster. But West didn't retreat. Instead, he used the controversy as a springboard to further challenge the entertainment industry's status quo, cementing his role as a provocateur. While polarizing, the episode underscored his commitment to disrupting pop culture's comfortable patterns, insisting on a narrative where passion and conviction are at the forefront. Announcing the release of The Life of Pablo on Saturday Night Live, West revealed he was deep in financial turbulence. Two years later, he was well on his way to becoming a billionaire. How did he do it? Sheer grit, grim determination, and a knack for exploring business ventures. West created Yeezy, a clothing and sneaker brand, and partnered it with the giant names of Adidas and Gap. He also built Tidal, a music streaming service, and launched the album Ye. This comeback from the brink of financial collapse embodies the essence of Ye's philosophy, that true genius lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. When he announced his bold bid for the presidency at the MTV Video Music Awards on August 30, 2015, everyone laughed. Five years later, West made good with his word. He obviously lost, but the presidential run, albeit unconventional, was imbued with the same fervor and visionary outlook that characterize his endeavors in music and fashion. This move was not just about the pursuit of office, but a statement on the possibilities that lie outside traditional political pathways. It was a testament to his belief in the power of the individual to affect change, an invitation to reimagine governance, creativity, and community engagement. Following his presidential loss, Kanye aligned with Trump, a figure as polarizing as himself, a strategic maneuver to question and disrupt the political discourse. The move also underscored his refusal to adhere to expected norms. West's political engagements are a continuation of his audacious journey, challenging societal expectations and sparking wide-ranging dialogues. They serve as a platform to voice his discontent with the status quo and to advocate for a future defined by innovation, freedom, and individual empowerment. In an electrifying dialogue with Joe Rogan, West articulated how his radical transformations in the music landscape have been instrumental in catapulting him into the echelons of America's wealthiest. Through this spirited discourse, West laid bare his philosophy of revolutionizing the industry to ensure his sonic footprints altered its DNA forever. All this may sound self-effacing, but the rapper actually credits his immense success to his faith in God. He believes that God has called him to be the leader of the free world, and he wants to build a stadium with 100,000 gospel singers. On Rogan's platform, he affirmed his role as a provocateur and a pioneer, one who reimagines the future of music while amassing wealth as a byproduct of his groundbreaking contributions. His audacious spirit and visionary mind have indeed reshaped the cultural zeitgeist. In the vast expanse of Kanye West's universe, his unwavering connection to the divine serves as both his compass and muse. Unafraid to wear his spirituality on his sleeve, 
He released the gospel album Jesus is King in 2018. It cinched the Grammy for Best Contemporary Christian Music Album. On the flip side, Ye's declarations of faith have often veered into realms that stir controversy and spark heated debates. At the Paris Fashion Week in October 2022, West and his models walked the ramp in shirts printed with White Lives Matter. He posted on Twitter, now X, Go DeathCon 3 on Jewish people. In an interview with Chris Cuomo, he claimed that the Jewish underground media mafia took ownership of black musicians' creative work. CNN reported that according to their sources, unnamed but purportedly reliable, West was obsessed with Hitler and toyed with the idea of titling his Ye album as Adolf. He raps in Vultures, the title track, How Am I Anti-Semitic, and then goes on to describe a sexual encounter with a Jewish woman. Finally, in a series of tweets and public statements, West expressed frustration with the music industry and its treatment of artists, likening the industry to slavery and invoking stereotypes about Jewish control and influence. These comments understandably drew condemnation from many quarters, with many accusing him of promoting anti-Semitic tropes. While all these justify the labeling of West as anti-Semitic, some of his statements do have more context than mainstream media covers. So why did West make these anti-Semitic comments? Several factors may have influenced his statements. One possibility is a lack of awareness or understanding of the historical context and implications of anti-Semitism. Like many public figures, West may not fully grasp the impact of his words or the broader societal implications of perpetuating harmful stereotypes. Furthermore, his tendency to speak impulsively and provocatively, coupled with his often tumultuous relationship with the media, could have also contributed to these controversial remarks. It's also worth noting that West has a history of making controversial statements on a wide range of topics, from politics to race to religion. His willingness to challenge societal norms and provoke discussion, while sometimes divisive, has also earned him a devoted following and cemented his status as a cultural icon. In the aftermath of the backlash, West issued a statement clarifying his remarks and expressing remorse for any offense caused. While some have questioned the sincerity of his apology, others have welcomed it as a step towards reconciliation and understanding. Ultimately, whether West truly holds anti-Semitic views is a matter of speculation, but what's clear is that his comments have sparked important conversations about the prevalence of bigotry and the importance of confronting it head-on. West himself denied the allegations in a TMZ interview. Black people can't be anti-Semitic, he declared. And ending the year 2023 on a high note, West posted a public apology in Hebrew to the Jewish community on Instagram. An excerpt, your forgiveness is important to me, and I am committed to making amends and promoting unity. According to Forbes estimates, Kanye West was worth $1.8 billion when the year 2022 started. Unfortunately, the figure dropped to $400 million in October when Adidas opted out of their relationship with the rapper's Yeezy brand, largely due to his anti-Semitic comments. Soon after, other companies followed suit and folded their deals with Ye. Gap issued this statement, Anti-Semitism, racism, and hate in any form are inexcusable and not tolerated in accordance with our values. It was also in 2022 that Kanye's eight-year marriage to Kim Kardashian ended in divorce. While the reasons remain unclear, with both Kim and Wes choosing to never address the reasons for their divorce directly, the rumor mill went into overdrive. Shifting personalities, different needs, communication breakdowns, both Kim and Kanye have publicly grappled with personal struggles and challenges. From Kanye's battles with mental health issues to Kim's experiences navigating fame and scrutiny, ultimately, the decision to part ways may have been a mutual acknowledgement of the need to pursue their respective paths independently. In a dazzling display of strategic brilliance, Kanye West captured the imagination of millions worldwide and marked a significant milestone in his financial comeback. Raking in a staggering $19 million from a zero-budget ad, Ye once again proved his visionary status as one who bends the market to his will. The commercial itself, a masterstroke of creativity, showcased his genius in leveraging his personal brand to tap into the cultural pulse with impeccable timing and execution. Deftly navigating the complex interplay between art and commerce, 
West displayed his entrepreneurial acumen and relentless pursuit of innovation in this venture. Undoubtedly, his approach to business is as groundbreaking as his contributions to music and fashion. Kanye West's reach and influence know no bounds. His collaborations with Adidas, Gap, Nike, and Louis Vuitton have not only revolutionized the sneaker and apparel industries, but have also underscored his knack for turning visionary ideas into tangible successes. Beyond the glitz of fashion, West also ventured into farming by developing a Wyoming ranch into a sustainable and self-sufficient land that supports a farm-to-table lifestyle. In 2020, after his presidential election loss, West received a part of the Tortuga Turtle Island from the President of Haiti. Their agreement involved developing the farming and fishing sectors of the Haitian economy. This connection to the earth reflects a broader commitment to nurturing communities through initiatives aimed at supporting homeless shelters. With his mother, he formed the Dr. Donda West Foundation, which helps decrease the number of school dropouts. With fellow rapper Common, he donates to projects that create jobs for the Chicago youth. In the relentless spotlight of public scrutiny, Kanye West finds himself often mislabeled as unstable, a narrative fiercely contested by the man himself. Instead of succumbing to these reductionist characterizations, he embarks on a bold mission to dismantle the misconceptions. He vehemently pushes against the mainstream media's attempts to confine him with normalcy, illustrating that his actions, though misunderstood, are the manifestations of a visionary spirit. By challenging stereotypes, West not only defends his own complexity, but also lights a beacon for those who dare to defy societal expectations and champion their unique identities. Through his words and deeds, Kanye West invites us into a more expansive conversation about mental health, creativity, and the courage to live authentically. Thus, he paves the way for a culture that embraces diversity in thought and expression. Kanye West stands as a vocal sentinel against the music industry's darker practices and is a fervent advocate for the emancipation of artists from the clutches of exploitation. His outspoken critiques illuminate the oppressive mechanisms at play, where creativity is often shackled by the demands of profit-driven entities. In 2020, West tweeted 114 pages of his record contracts to prove his claims that the music industry reduces artists into debt. He said, music at this point loses me money, it doesn't make me money. The $5 billion net worth and $300 million in cash that I see a year, music is like negative $4 million for me. And then there was the 5150 episode of 2016. West was held at the UCLA Medical Center for more than a week on 5150 involuntary psychiatric hold for mental health issues. The hospitalization came after his cancellation of his world tour and his bizarre behavior on stage of criticizing Beyonce and Jay-Z. Was the 5150 legitimate or being controlled by the elites? While his multiple bouts of erratic behavior could have pointed to mental illness as a factor, West believes he was being controlled by entities in a similar manner as that of Britney Spears and Michael Jackson. These individuals and corporations hold such power that they can choose what narratives get promoted. With the audacity of his voice, West ignites crucial dialogues about the urgent need for transformation within the industry's corridors of power. He exposes the harsh realities of contractual servitude and the manipulation of narratives, advocating for a new era where artists wield control over their creations and destinies. And this is not something new for him either. As early as 2013, during his struggle to break through the fashion industry, Kanye West was already vocal about inequities. He found himself in a verbal match against Sway Calloway, who prodded West to go out on his own instead of relying on industry giants. And so he did. Ten years after the Callaway bout, Ye declared in an interview with Good Morning America about his fallout with Adidas and Gap. It was all kind of a disregard for the voice of something that I co-created. I co-created the product at Adidas. I co-created the product at Gap. That means that I was there for some specific agenda, not for Yeezy Gap to be everything that it could be, or this dream that I had about what the Gap could be. It's time for me to make my own thing. The last line perfectly sums up the enigma that is Ye. 
Yet despite his achievements, West is often dismissed as a mere attention seeker. His penchant for controversy and headline-grabbing stunts has led many to overlook the depth and sincerity of his creative output, or forget that behind the larger-than-life persona lies a deeply introspective and sensitive artist grappling with the complexities of fame, success, and personal identity. His struggles with mental health have also further contributed to this misunderstood nature. In recent years, Kanye has been open about his battles with bipolar disorder, a condition that has undoubtedly influenced his behavior and public statements. While it is easy for us to dismiss these as mere attention-seeking, we could also try to recognize them as symptoms of a larger mental health crisis that surely deserves compassion and understanding. In a society quick to judge and condemn, Kanye West serves as a reminder of the dangers of reducing individuals to simplistic caricatures. And as one of the most misunderstood figures of our time, Kanye also challenges us to confront our preconceptions and biases, urging us to look beyond the headlines and see the person behind the persona. In a world desperate for authenticity and truth, perhaps Kanye West is exactly what we need, a reminder that there's more to each of us than meets the eye.